Football etiquette and rules. Make sure you have your real ID and not just a picture. Here's a picture of my ID. I'm so sorry, but you cannot come inside. Number two, make sure that every single elementary middle school student is accompanied by an adult. Hi. I'm so sorry, you need to be accompanied by an adult. You cannot come in. <laughs> make sure you show school spirit. Yay! Make sure to purchase tickets prior online. <laughs> All students from different schools must be on the visiting side. Where's your ID? I don't go to the school. I gotta go to that side. <laughs> no food or drinks and no bags larger than 5 by 7 Oh, excuse me. You can't come in. Your bag is larger than 5 by 7 hey, My mom packed me lunch. No outside food or drinks. <laughs> Make sure to stay safe and have fun. We hope to see you at the next home game, Grizzlies. Gates open at 6 and kickoff starts at 7. <laughs> Keeping up with the crew, keeping up with the crew, keeping up with the crew, keeping up with the crew. Me and Link Crew Leader is like a mentor, so we're just here to like be there for the freshmen if they need somebody to talk to or even like if they need help with like schoolwork or something. It gives freshmen a way to reach out to the upperclassmen. I believe Linker is beneficial because we get to welcome our freshmen in and it makes their transition from middle school to high school as easy as possible. My favorite part of being in Link Crew is because I love being able to help people and create new bonds. Um, my favorite part of Link Crew is probably just being able to make friends. I've made a lot of friends in this class, like people that I didn't even know go to this school and it's just really fun. And my favorite part is connecting with friends like DJ. And my favorite part would probably be friends and like getting to meet them, making memories with them. My favorite part is Miss Patton and Miss Huggins. <laughs> Hi, I'm Mrs. Patton. What are you laughing at, Bree? What are you laughing at? And this is Miss Huggins. Link Crew is beneficial and important because it gives the freshmen a chance to meet their mentors as juniors and seniors and give them an idea of what activities and clubs and sports and things we have going on on the campus. So now that you guys know a little bit more about Link Crew, I would like to invite all the freshmen to our homecoming tailgater on September 23rd. It starts at 6 and we'll be on the basketball courts. I hope to see you guys there. This is BBC World News. I'm McKenna, here with Oleg, our top story of the night. The Queen has died. You heard it here first. You're really sad. Tony, the Queen is dead! I'm terrified. You know her, her last name? Uh, Elizabeth. There you go. And sad at the same time. Sad. We know you're a British citizen, so how do you feel about the Queen's passing? I just found out about it. I didn't even know it happened. Yeah. Are you going to fly back to motherland and no. celebrate her, not, no. her life? No. No. Nope. That's the only that's the only queen I've known. <laughs> it, it's a sad sad moment. That's a sad it's a sad day. Alexander the queen's dead. I am I am I was just talking to the crickets about it. The queen is dead. How do you feel? What? Cameron, the queen is dead. How do you feel? Um how do you feel? Very sad. She, she's, she's been a, a huge part of the storyline. Hi, I'm Jalen Vega, and this is a bear fact. Did you know that there's eight species of bears? The moon bear, the sun bear, the black bear, the brown bear, the polar bear, the sloth bear, the Andean bear, and the panda bear. The more you know. Claws up, Grizzlies. Hi, my name is Mark Madrid. Uh, I'm Manabu. And today we're going to see how well our geography holds up in today's episode of GeoGuessr. Don't expect anything from us. All right, which one do you want to do? Uh, let's go with, let's go with capitals. Capitals? Okay. okay. Round one. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. Oh, oh, look at that sign. So look at the sign. This has got to be America. I can refer that. It's somewhere in America. It's somewhere in America. Indiana. Indiana? Police. Oh, police? What police is that? Mm. Let's go with Washington. Let's go with Washington. It's like over here. <laughs> it's like, a, I don't know where it is. 
Oh, oh. No, man. Oh, this is more like maybe in a Spanish area. Yeah. Puerto Rico? Puerto Rico. Right, what do you think it is? Well, no, I think what do you think it is? Let's go with Mexico. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's okay. close enough. I mean, two, different, two different continents. Yeah. But, hey, I mean, I'd like to say I was on the right track here. Okay. Okay. What do you think this is? What do you think this is? Well, okay. I think Looking maybe, at maybe that Finland? tree. We're in Spain? I, I think Finland. Finland. Oh, Poland. 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 That's oh. Lewandowski. He's from Polish. Oh. Or from Poland. Poland. Yeah, it makes sense now, you know. I mean, anyone could have gotten that one. Alright, that's it. What did well, we learn today? Bad geography. We're, we're really bad at geography. <laughs> Someone okay. Welcome back, Grizzlies. I know we had a week off, but let's get back into recapping some sports of the So I just want to give a quick shout out to JV Tennis for winning the Etiwanda tournament. It was a well-fought tournament and a huge shout out to them. I'm right, moving on to volleyball. Uh, they lost to Redlands and Serrano both by sweeps, but they start league this week and we'll see how they do in league. Uh, for golfing, women's golf just won their first ever match in school history against Centennial High School. Huge shout out to them. Uh, cross country. Uh, great weekend at the Morro Bay Tournament. The boys took 7th place as a team out of 28 teams, and the girls took 4th out of 24 teams. Great job to you guys. And football continues to go even with their record, posting a 2-2 two two record with a win 29-6 over Rim of the World. Tomorrow they will play Bonita High School at Bonita. Check in next week to see the scores. See you, Grizzlies.